welcome to day one of my 14 day better booty challenge. Hey, this workout is for people who like their coffee strong and their glutes tight. You need a pair of moderate dumbbells for this workout and we're rotating through eight moves for three sets. It's gonna be awesome. After you've done, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell down there in the corner and then please drop a comment. I would love to hear from you. Have a great sweat. Mwah. too much about arms okay so we'll do a couple arm circles and then we're warming up lower body after that so don't forget I am your tough love trainer for the not so tough so that means this channel is perfect for those of you just starting out in fit fitness or more of an intermediate borderline advanced I show a ton of modifications so I don't care where you are in your fitness journey you will get to where you want to be injury free and with the end result of being a better fat burning machine. Deal? Deal. All right, now take your arms out for me, reach them out towards me, feet shoulder width apart, give me a squat and lift up off your heel. Now right now, I want you to pay attention to your squat patterns. I want your bum going rearward, so you're hinging through that hip joint, you're sitting your bum back like you're gonna sit in a chair. You wanna keep spine neutral and use the hips and the legs to do the squat. Take it down a little lower if you can, last four. One more, fantastic. Now hands on hips, get into the hip joint itself. Leading with the knee, give me big circles, do it again. Nice and big, awesome. Now this is a workout with multiple sets. I'm not gonna be yapping too much, but there's a lot of dead space. So if you have music, Go put it on. <laughs> It'll help motivate you and get you through it, and then you don't have to listen to me either. One more. And other way. Here we go. Up and over. Up and over. You like my shirt today? Super sarcastic. If you enjoy sarcasm, comment below. <laughs> Last two. One more. All right, into the glutes and the hamstring. Extend an arm out, opposite leg steps behind the body a little bit. Now swing it straight up, toe to hand. You got it. Up, up. Feeling that hamstring, getting a dynamic stretch and warming up into the glute as well. Last four. Now take the same leg and now step behind the body for a lunge and reach out of the hip pocket. With our lunge pattern, we're stepping far enough back so we can keep this front knee lined up with the ankle, knees tracking straight ahead, and we're leaning out of the hip so we get more of a stretch in that hip flexor area. Last four, three, two, one more. Beautiful, all right, other leg. Extend the opposite arm out, kick that leg behind you, now kick it up. Last four. And release. Now step that leg back for lunge and lean out of the hip pocket on that side. Beautiful, give yourself a good stride behind you. The longer the leg that you have, the wider or longer your step back's gotta be. Four more. One more. All right, last warm up drill. We gotta get the lateral hip warmed up. I want you to step out with your right leg. Bring your hand across the body, touch the toe, come back to center, do that right side again. Beautiful, notice my other leg, it's staying straight. Now you wanna hip hinge, so you're gonna step out and then push your bum rearward. So again, you've got that neutral spine. If lunges bother your knees, this probably isn't the best workout for you, okay? I do have a workout on the channel, leg workout, for um, people with bad knees or knees that are bugging them, so seek that out. Last two. One more. Beautiful, here we go, other direction. Step out wide, hand comes across, see if you can touch all the way down to the ground. 
Other leg is straight. Last three. One more. Excellent. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. We are going to begin. We're starting with a reverse lunge pattern. Now, just a heads up, I actually have to count on this workout. So I really hope I can do that because if you've trained with me personally, you know I can't count. In fact, no trainer can count. It's just not in our genetics. So I need to be able to keep track of three sets. So wish me luck. All right. You'd think three would be easy, but you'd be surprised. All right, dumbbell in each hand. This is what the exercise looks, about, looks like. You're gonna hold your balance. Beginners, keep your toe down, and then you're gonna step behind the body and lunge down. And we're gonna do that same leg for 45 seconds. I'm gonna stay to my side so you can take a look at four. All right, ready? Good, step back. Good, if you can, balance the leg up. Back knees coming straight down to your floor. Just like warm up drill, you want to step far enough back so that front knee stays well over the ankle or just over the laces, but it's not poking right past the toe. And again, that's just a safer position for the patella. Upper body upright, we're working core right now, working tush, working legs, working hips. All the way down, chest lifted. Time. We had a 10 second break, we're doing the other side. I'm gonna turn around again, just so my side's to you, you can see my form. Find that balance and step back. Back knee as close to your ground as you can get it. Remember, you and I work out on the honor system. I have no idea how deep you're going, how your form is. So I want you to be honest with yourself. You should be breathing a little harder now. If you're not, go grab a heavier pair of dumbbells. We're here to see change and growth, and that takes you past. That means you've got to go a little uncomfortable for me. Guess what? One set done. Set number two. Go back to your other leg that we started with. Ready? Find your balance and go. I know I'm going to pay for this because I'm training for the West Coast Trail, which is a really beautiful but intense hike on Vancouver Island, close to where I live. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing a hike this weekend with weight on my back. I should be fun with a sore ass. <laughs> can you feel that yet? Again, if you can't, go grab heavier dumbbells. Holy cow, time. And if you're dying already, get rid of your dumbbells. Do body weight or drop down to a lower set. Because the fun's just begun. Go. We got eight exercises, three rounds. So we are going to be training lower body pretty much for 40, 45 minutes straight. Don't turn off the channel now. Keep going. You've committed. Yeah, for the West Coast Trail, I've got to camp, camp, six nights in the bush. I think there's campgrounds, but pretty primitive. I don't camp. Last round, other leg, ready? And go. My idea of camping, or roughing it, I should say, is a hotel without a gym. <laughs> This is taking me way outside my comfort zone. I 
feel pretty confident with the hiking part. I don't at all with the camping. I was thankful to hear they have outhouses now at the campgrounds because I was really fearful of having to poop in the woods. <laughs> it's not something I've ever wanted to do. It's not on my bucket list, let's just say. But the trail, that's been on my bucket list for a while. Should be awesome. Time. Last leg, now we're moving on to a new exercise. Whew. Here we go, find your balance. Hey, I'd love to hear from you. What's on your bucket list? And if you don't have one, you know you should start one. It's really cool to start working towards things that you look forward to. We do so, so much in life for other people or jobs, commitments. It's nice to work towards something for you. And if just finishing this workout is on your bucket list, awesome! <laughs> I can get you there on that journey. <laughs> Alright, single leg deadlift. I'm going to go to the side again. Okay, you're going to hinge to the hip joint, stay on one leg and lift the leg up. So soften the working leg knee, come forward, spine neutral, and back up again. You're trying to get your upper body and your back leg all in one line. So if you do yoga, it's kind of like warrior three without your arms going up. Just remember to keep that knee soft, and it's going to challenge balance, as you can see for me. Whew. So we're on round one now of deadlifts, single leg deadlifts. If you're having a hard time with your balance, get rid of the dumbbells and do this by a wall. So one hand on the wall. Don't give up and stand there and wait for the next exercise. That's not how you get better. Time. Here we go. Find your balance by focusing your stairs slightly ahead of you and down. Begin. You may find maybe this side's a little easier or harder than the other side. We tend to be a little unbalanced and that's just through daily living and activities. We lead with one side more than the other. <laughs> wow, I'm having a real rough time. Holy cow. Alright, focus. Reach that back leg back. Good. Knee soft. Please don't forget that. And spine neutral. So we're hinging through the hip. There we go. Round one done. Hey, no problem. We got this. All right, other leg. Soften up the knee. Pull the shoulders back and down. This is where the posture muscles are now being trained. And begin. Yeah, I got quiet real quick, didn't I? <laughs> I find I really have to focus on this one for my balance. <laughs> and even then, that doesn't work. <laughs> Switch around on this side.
you're feeling it too much, remember you can always drop down, lighter dumbbell or no dumbbells. squats next and after that round after those three rounds we'll have a water break okay so hang in there we're almost we're almost to water break
All right, one more set. Go. Again, make sure you're hinging through that hip joint. This one here, your knee's probably going to push a little past your toe box, but we're good if you keep the spine neutral and encourage the bum to push rearward. Don't forget, you've got that kickstand opportunity if you're fatiguing. join you on that and then we're going to get into a one-legged bridge this is a really great exercise for the tush as well as the low back so great one if you find that you get um, low back fatigue or if you've been plagued with low back pain in the past this is a really good exercise this next one ah doesn't water taste good okay what are we yep bridges so come on down for me on your back I want you to cross one leg over, and you're going to drive the hips up, keeping the hips even. That's a bridge. We've got 45 seconds, three rounds each leg, so we'll alternate left and right, okay? Ready, set, and go. Lift up. Drive the hips up. Now, if you really want to sort of get a little bit more, get into your posture a little bit, give me what's called scarecrow arms. So your elbows are lined up with your shoulders, and then let your hands drop back, or stick them up arms. And this will just help work into the mobility of the shoulder. My ponytail's driving me nuts. Are you able to get the hips up a little higher? I want you to push through your heel, really drive these hips up. It's super easy to get an autopilot on this exercise. And then once your bum hits the ground, boom, you're back up again, okay? Don't rest it there. Time. If you're able to, keep your arms up there in that scarecrow position, cross the other leg. You want that heel in fairly close, but not close enough that you can touch it with your fingertips. And drive. Hip bones stay even, up as high as you can get those hips. Full foot on your ground, but most of your press is through that heel. As I said, this is a great exercise for your bum muscles as well as your low back. Be feeling your bum muscles, yeah? Good. Time. Bring your arms down for the second set if you like. We'll bring them back up for the last set. Here we go. Switch legs, cross over, hips even, and drive. In fact, you can place your fingers on your hip bones just to make sure you're keeping the hips even. And that's where the core comes into play.
stretch around, other leg, cross over, ready, and lift. Time. All right, last round. We're in our third set. Cross leg over. Let's get our arms back to that scarecrow position so we work into the shoulder mobility. Final round and lift. So I've been really good at being able to keep track up until three sets. My counting's been bang on. My mom would have been so proud. Look, mom, I can count to three. <laughs> oh. Seriously, if you actually are working with a trainer that is able to count, run away. <laughs> That's a highly unusual skill for a trainer. We can't count. That's just what it is. You press the backs of the hands down to your mat, give it a try. Time! Oh lordy, let's pull the knees in and just give the glutes a little bit of a break here. Oh yeah, and come on up. Whew! Alright, grab a quick sip of water if you need it. You're going to need one dumbbell if you're an intermediate or advanced exerciser. Beginners, no dumbbell for this next drill. We're going to take a crossover lunge, or otherwise known as a curtsy lunge, to a side leg lift. So it looks like this. You're going to hold the dumbbell up high in the chest, shoulder blades pulled back and down. You're stepping over and across the midline of the body and then drop straight down. Bring the feet together and then lead with the heel and abduct the leg out. So you don't want to lead with the toe. That's going to get a totally different muscle. I want to isolate your hip stabilizers, your glute meat. So I want you to lead with the heel and come straight out to your side. We have three rounds, all right, each leg. Ready? Let's start with one side. Pick a side and go. Cross over. Feet together. Lead with the heel. Lift it up. Do it again. whenever I say, how you doing? Remember you used to say that? That was such a great show. Now I'm hooked on soups. Oh my goodness, I love that show. I also love Sherlock too on Netflix. All right, other leg. Uh-huh, ready? Go. Cross over other leg, lead with the heel, lift out. What are some other ones? I PVR'd that new one, Texas Rising. Nah, wasn't that impressed. And that other new one with um, The Rock Ballers. Yeah, not impressed. 
but a bunch of football players and they all seem at least in the sitcom they all seem like spoiled masochistic bunches Second set, crossover line, side leg lift. Narcissistic, that's the word I was searching for. Professional athletes, I think if they get too big too soon, same with stars, they lose their dignity. They start believing that they are great. Not a good attitude to have. Finish it, finish it. Ha, good for you. Whew. Your shoulders will break if you need it. All right, we're at the bottom of the second. Crossover lunge, other leg, go. So our next exercise, when we've completed the three rounds here, we need to get set up really quickly because we're not going to have a rest in between. And it's going to require both your dumbbells but on the ground. So just setting you up, just getting you ready. Finish it, leg left. Nice. Shoulder break. All right, so this is our third round. Whew. And go. I have like five fans. Fans, like the item fans, not fans. Anyways, I have five fans here in the room. And I can't turn on any of them because they're super loud and you wouldn't be able to hear the audio. But there's one right behind the camera right now and it's like taunting me because I'm so hot right now. <sighs> so if you have a fan, either, you know, a fan human being or a fan anatomic object, feel free, use it. set up. We only have 10 seconds to get set up for our next drill. So make sure you see that other dumbbell because you're going to need it in a little bit. Ready? Here we go. Curtsy. Side leg. Time. 
Whew. That gets a little heart rate up, doesn't it? Ready? Go. When we do this exercise in my classes, I tell my classes I'm getting them ready to go to the bathroom in a third world country. <laughs> so it's a functional exercise too if you travel. Okay, we got one more to go, and then we're going right into the next exercise right away before we get a water break. And begin. Don't fret, you're almost there. We only have two more exercises to do, okay? Okay. Now we're going into a side out lunge, coming up next. So we did a variation of it in our warm up drill, stepping out to the side, hand coming down to the floor. Time. All right, intermediate advance, grab onto one dumbbell only. Place it in the opposite hand that the leg's going to step out, okay? Now step out, dumbbell to the ground, step together, same side, do it again. Really lengthen that stride. When you land, your toe is slightly turned out, so the knee and toe track in the same direction. And you're doing that hip hinge that I've been talking about, pressing the bum rear and hinging through here, not through your waist. We're going to alternate left and right, right for three rounds on this. Yeah, I saved the best for last, didn't I? Well, sorry, we still got one more to do after this. Time. All right, so dumbbells in the other hand now, other leg stepping up. Whew. And go. Hey, can you do me a big old favor? And comment below what you thought of the workout. I put these workouts up on the channel and I see they get views, but are people just quickly viewing them? Are they doing the whole workout? Am I wasting my time? I hope not. I really want to connect with you and help get you fit. I do, I do. If you feel this in your back, get rid of the dumbbell, okay? If you still feel it in the back and you have no dumbbell, I want you to tighten up in that core area. So draw the belly button in, brace your abs. Whew. All right, other, other hand, you know it, other side.
Uh oh, I think I lost count. <laughs> I think we're at the bottom of the second. <laughs> Not that you could tell me, right? <laughs> yeah, this, this is the last round. I'll say it with confidence and it's true. All right, one more each leg and go. So we're gonna grab a water break after this before we head down onto our hands and knees for our last exercise. We're gonna finish off strong, baby, with my butt buster exercise. Time. Hallelujah. Okay, grab some water. Whew. But we are on the last exercise, baby. I'm proud of you. You stuck it out. Good job. Now you just need to stick it out for one more exercise and we are done. side knee touches the other knee and then lift up for fire hydrant. I know that fire hydrant is super old school. I think Jane Fonda and her leg warmers did it back in the um, early 80s but it is very effective at targeting the glute muscle. So this will help build and give you that nice round look to the glute okay which everybody wants now because of J-Lo and Beyonce. So ready? Timer set. We're going to alternate left and right legs. Elbows underneath the shoulders. Set your core, so that means drawing your belly button in because you will feel a little low back if you do not set your core. Here we go, and begin. Press straight up, knees together, now open up. Do it again. Heel up, flex that foot, open. If you have tight hips, you'll have a real hard time doing the open part. You wanna to try to get that inside of the knee parallel to your floor. And yes, you will feel it in the other leg not doing anything because it's not. It is doing something. It's stabilizing your body. Time. All right. Get ready. We're doing the other leg. Press straight up. Flex that foot. And then open up. Go. Press. Now knees together and open. Press. Open. There's your tempo. See if you can maintain that. If you need a break, give me two more reps, okay? And then take your break. 
I'm not going to say no to a break, but I just want you to just take a little pass further than what you think you can do. Feeling your low back, definitely fire up that core, and here we go. Press straight up and open. Then we stretch, I promise. Here we go. Ready and go. Press. Open. Your butt should really be burning right now. If it's not, man, tighten up your form. Or maybe you're just inhuman. <laughs> I don't know. But 99% .9 of the people I train, by now, they're dying. In a good way. <laughs> okay, last leg. Then we're going to give everything a stretch. <sighs> Ready? Set and go. Press. Last 10 seconds. Oh, hallelujah. Sit back on your heels for me. Drop your forehead to your mat. Hands walk out and stretch out. Because 
It got a lot of work. Release. Oh yeah. Other side. I'm going to feel this in the morning. Here we go. Tilt forward. Reach up. Fingertips come to the mat on that opposite side and hold. Release. Take your legs, extend them straight out ahead of you. Press the backs of the knees into your mat. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Try not to round the back too much. You're leaning more with the chest. Whew, I'm sweaty. If you can grab on the feet, shins, wherever. Breathe into it and just relax. Now open those legs up as wide as you can for me. Press the hands behind you and press yourself forward. Now your feet are flexed, okay? Don't let them just flop. Your feet are flexed, chest is leading forward. If that feels cool and you think, yeah, I can do this, then bring your hands forward and walk forward. Stretching the long head of your adductors in a side group here. And now bring the feet together for butterfly to stretch the short head. Sit up nice and tall, lean forward, pressing the knees to your mat. Release down, lie right down for me. Extend your left leg straight up for hamstring. That feels good. Straighten your other leg on the ground. That leg that's on the ground, if you are straightening it, Press the heel into the mat so we're lengthening the front of the hip while we also lengthen the hamstring on this left side. Now bend your other leg, cross the ankle over, and pull in for figure four. So your hands are coming in between the thigh, behind the thigh, and pulling in. If you want to intensify it, bring your hands on top of your shin. This is a really nice hip opener, stretches all into the glutes as well. A little bit low back, you might even feel it in your thigh. It's a great stretch. Float the legs down, extend your right one straight up for hamstring, and hold. Press that left heel into your mat. Don't forget, we want to lengthen that front of your leg while we get the hamstring on this right side. Cross the leg over, pull in for figure four. Hands coming behind the knee or on top of the shin. Nice and easy release. Bring your knees into your chest and rock yourself up to a seated position. Good. And then come on up standing. Last stretch of the day here. Bringing the heel up to the bum for quadricep stretch. So if you find your balance is challenged, find something to hold on to. Wall, chair, piece of furniture. Heel up. Knee lines up with that hip and then squeeze the bum forward to get more of a stretch and opening of that quad. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been teaching a lot of classes, really large classes too. I'm very grateful that I've got a lot of people registered in my in-person classes, but that means that I'm losing my voice by the end of the week because I'm constantly talking and yelling and cueing. Other side. Here we go. Knee underneath the hip. Pull the knee back a bit and then squeeze the bum forward. Okay, gives you a bit more stretch in that quad. Ideally, quadricep length, you should be able to bring that heel to your bum. 
So if you're not able to do that, we need to keep doing this stretch. Deal? And release. Ha! Ah, hey! Thank you once again for joining me and doing my best butt workout. I truly appreciate you stopping by and doing the workout with me. Comment below and tell me what you thought of the workout as well as what's on your bucket list. I'd love to hear from you. So until next workout, go forth and be fit.